mwifinye wajinga wate wako hapa ama mtoto na kuchokoza hadi modorira hata na fakuku kwa umanaji baka guest uh, ya yeah, manage guest ya yeah. sawa nimekuweka unazata add guest na kutoa guest ya yeah. so ima kwa kuambi wati nani ya mentumia pesa fulani ina kwa gani maizu kwa 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 Mwana wa ta kwa live for less than a half. Sini mimi less than an hour. Now you pass them on the streets and they greet you with a smile. Magin tuna na kukosea heshima na nikosea heshima na kosea comment section heshima na heshima kanyaga ukiedaga. When uh, when uh, Nani says I'm a 100k na na big na na car of first and foremost and I just go for car of box maybe to car of jam to me a penny and I say maybe to car of some to me and be on a musi ma oni promote mu ko niliya jina na to na juwa blo musi ma ko injo na nipati agado so I just to rip umpanga that is called a mental game they mentally prepare you. Ah, uh, ukaro aisee for kumpatia. Si atu one evidence, my friend. Ukaro atapatia big daddy ama atapatia nani pita kio. Ina kwanza na big daddy ndio ndio kwa gana wivu. Akajua nani anatumiwa gado. Kutakuwa na noma mbaya sana. So unajua hii nilifanya nani by the way, uh, ukaro uh, big daddy kwa sana kiki. Yuma bwa kutumiwa do. Eh? Ile time kiki alimwambia is this time usitumie nani do. Uh, big daddy don't nitumie do tuweke store. Kwa hivyo hata sahii Big Daddy akajua Okaro which is a lie. Do everything Okaro does. Okaro has to tell Big Daddy. Okaro ni yule madem hata akishuta na mbechale yake babe limeshuta. Alafu najua bado Okaro ni mshamba kawaida nilo demo leda kama juu lakini bado ni topi. Okaro bado ni shamba. Hata bila me bleach ni kublisha mafala. Anybody that has to come on a social platform to tell you how rich they are, mm -mm, no money. I know those you are my friend. Any person that has to come here and say they are rich, that you have money, me mean dossier, you don't you don't know how riches look like. Mm mm. And darling, anybody that anybody that by the means you bleach. Ni weather to do because I'm kini chamba ni ni weather and I think sometimes uh we should filter me as a black african luo woman okay i saw by the way i'm confidence yangu mimi niko na confidence gile ya mbaya i believe my, in myself na imagine na vile na ka hivi natural na kateoga vibaya sana kwanza mimi i don't even have time for brokies i don't cuz i believe in myself and all my value darling i don't need to bleach myself to be beautiful i believe in my beauty my aura my confidence who i am when I walk in a room, I say what I want to say and leave. But people who have to bleach and believe they're beautiful, Of course, it's a choice. Everybody has a choice. There's a lot of things you can. But you cannot justify a choice that is fake. In your mind, you think it's beautiful. Not everybody appreciates bleaching, darling. And I've always said, and I've always said, and all the bleachers, I'm so sorry. I just as I'm to two giza, I'm not so much into a giza. Black is effing beautiful. Black is beautiful. You don't have to make much effort. 
You don't have to spend thousands and thousands of chemicals on yourself. It's you the person. Unajua hata ukibleach kama ni ile ile, kama kumako ni tamu ni tamu, kama sio tamu sio tamu, it doesn't change you. If you don't have personality, whether you bleach does not change anything about you. In fact, it gives you a false sense of thinking you're better. You may bleach, so you think when you start calling other people ugly. <laughs> My friend, bleaching doesn't make anybody beautiful. And I want to tell this to young girls. If you're a young, black, beautiful girl, believe in yourself, darling. Don't let societal norms. If you gotta do it because you want to do it, do it. But don't do it out of pressure, out of someone making you feel like you're lesser because you're dark, you're black. Keep it authentic. Keep it you. There are two categories of women who bleach. Washamba, Sprinita Pudu. I love that they educated fools. People have gone to school but they're not emancipated. Women are sure like any kitchen of we put in re. Going to school does not make you intelligent or smart or better. Traveling the world does not. It's a self journey when you take yourself for who you are and believe in yourself. And when you bleach because maybe you have to arrange as in a name smart and to a but when you do that and you think it's the epitome of beauty then you start calling out other women who have not done the same thing as you you start calling them ugly, darling people need to sit down and read read books that will emancipate you as a black woman and if you're a black woman who's uh, lucky enough to have traveled the world studied, should be talking better you shouldn't be coming here and calling people on that. Like when I heard that, I was like, really? You're calling out someone because they're black, so they're ugly? So you think you're fucking bleach, you're beautiful? No, darling, you have no persona, personality. And coming out to shout doesn't make you a stronger, better person, darling. And when you suffer from low self-esteem, that you as a woman hate yourself so much that you're going to come and fight over... <laughs> Some community husbands on a platform. How do how do people do that? Mimi at the end of Mimi Wuyu. I can never come out and claim a man who has other bitches around. I can't. It makes me cringe, like darling. It makes me fucking cringe because I'm like, when did the rain start beating me? When did the rain fucking start beating women out here? How desperate, how bad. By the way, you sorry, you were okay now and how many were angry? Because I'm a woman, kina woman, kina woman, you know, my sister, oh my, you're beautiful sister, I love you. Can you have coffee, my dad? Can you go to Burger King? Can you go and eat something? Maybe then people will zoom up and on a bed. Hi, darling. Hi, how, how long? Because I walk with my head held. By the way, you just mean you and you guys. Someone should record me when I'm walking on the street. Now if it am be angry, hmm? Na hii matako yangu hafa, mwenye misa na kukubwa kama za wajaka. Zangu zikotu wapo, siyo zile zinadundika, zile unatembea, eh? But kukadino mungu kwa sasa hii nimetembea. Eh? Na kwa za misa ukiangi mtu kwa njia. Me, I don't like, like me, ati, the way this, some of this white point akati ya kikwanda. Mimi, tutagunga na kichwa, my friend. Sita kutokea kwa njia, because I believe in myself, my friend. So, the thing is, guys, life is too short. And there's enough for everybody. There's enough for everyone. And everybody is special in their own way. Be you, do not slice yourself to fit in. Don't fit in. Manze guys meet when I was doing my game, manze. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, hey, 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 yeah, chill, man, oh, right. Ule mtu alini tuma, eh. Hundred hours losing moisture ain't one of. my friend. Like literally, my life was a living hell because I tried to fit in spaces I shouldn't have fitted in. Like my voice was stifled and all that. You know, it was one of my worst time ever being on this app. And I only told God to just keep me going. God, give me the strength to, to you know get through this because it was one of those times that you really don't want. And so, um, now back to Okaro. Okaro, darling, please stop this mentality of coming out here to tell people you have money. You ain't got no money. You're just like everybody else, an immigrant. 
struggling, still working to survive. Maybe you're lucky enough to have a man that supports you. But when it comes to money, mm-mm. Hakuna pesa hapo konayo, you're just like an ordinary person abroad. Mm? Yes, Dama. Smart people. Instead of bleaching, bleaching, they do a very good uh, skincare routine. They cleanse, they tone, they moisturize, they use the best whatever's, you know, they look good. And let me tell you, when you see someone, thank you, Drian, let me, when you see a woman or a man who literally looks at themselves well, they're not even bleached, they're black. If you look at them, you can tell this is someone who really has money and is taking care of themselves. Like in the Kutufanya Kwa Mkorogo, Unakuya Kutuambia Tis, you beauty, Dango Angwa. as women we're going to talk about things that affect us and sometimes we're going to teach you that each other sometimes we're going to go bullcrap for what it is uh, one of the things i always say as women please this idea could you could try and delicious someone because where you may bleach you think you're beautiful it is wrong dama yes you better do it is wrong and you know what there is what is called uh, each for themselves if you find bleaching that will make you happy that is fine but I want to tell you, as a person, I'm, I believe I'm enlightened enough. If there's a queue, and I'm told to pick between the, the bleacher and the natural, I'm going to pick the natural because that is someone that, someone that has no inferiority complex. A lot of bleachers actually have what is called inferiority complex. Okay? A lot of people that bleach have what is called inferior. They don't feel beautiful in themselves. That's fine. If that's what makes feel better, but they usually trouble. They're very hard to deal with. They are easily manipulated because they don't believe themselves. The moment you don't believe in yourself, you'll be easily manipulated. Okay. When you don't believe in yourself, you have to lean on other people. You're so easy to manipulate. Why do people bleach? Hey, someone share this with Okara. Could you when they bleach? Honestly, maybe she can. You know, maybe to feel good. To feel special, to be brown, I don't know, whatever thing she does it for. I honestly don't know. Well, talking of which, uyu nani ya neto nani, uyu bibi ya big daddy the ni. Lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, inferiority complex, you know, there are a lot of things usually that happens with bleachers. There are usually a lot of things, there are people that uh, have not self accepted themselves guys mimi mimi najipenda vile niko ukiniambia lips zangu ni kubwa yes they're big and beautiful and I love them i don't have a problem with that so wewe ndio kuna shida na lips zangu okay when someone tells you you're black one of the like mosi kama nini yes i'm black and there's nothing wrong with that i'm happy the way i am my blackness does not stop me from anything kama ni kukam na kam tu na kama toa yellow kama ni kukojoa na kojoa tu kama you know so it does not affect me in any way and i have accepted myself the way i am self actualization what that is one of the strongest things that a lot of women here on the net don't have they do not self actualize you know they don't accept themselves and don't come here to look for validation because when you come on the mimi imagine nisi yeye ambio hapa baka emma ni nitaga walking dead em call me a walking dead not that i have anything against her i don't mind i don't know her seriously but we're just going back you know we you know people say oh don't no this is history we go back because you as a person, what you say says your character. But it has not stopped anything from me. It has stopped change me or anything. Because I realize sometimes people change things because they're actually the ones struggling with self-identity. You see? And I told you, hey, I'm a bleach, I'm a bleach. Is she bleached or not? So sometimes when I deal with these people, I try and understand where they're coming from, their backgrounds, and I want to show them love. I'm going to show them, darling, I know you're struggling with something. I know you don't have self-confidence. Would you mean? And guys, I have nothing against body people bleaching. I'm just giving an example. Please, bleach as you see I'm just giving my opinion. You know, this platform is for opinion, so we come here and give our opinions. 
but I understand because that I mean Limwambia ana fanya ana 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 snort. You know, I told her she's doing the lines. Nili sema ni mtu wa line. So if that was she felt like a comeback, that was fine. But if I was a weakling, it would have affected me. I was like, oh, they've told me this. So that is what is happening to a lot and a lot and a lot of people that come here when I'm talking about what do, what do, what do. What does that mean? Oh, when someone is snorting, someone is doing the line, someone is doing drugs like a druggy. So English I'm going to tell us that Nelly Mwambia she's a druggy. I know she's an alcoholic though. Em, na jo una venda tu tei. I know you're a bad. I know you. I definitely you're not a druggy, yaki. That one is my too cuckoo heart because you also hurt me. Yeah, na jo when you mtu ane ni when you mtu ma ma ni ma pombezo zako apo. Yeah, but uh, you know, uh, I said it because you say that so we were saying, saying, saying. Pombe na una pena una nyukweli. Sindi ama. Which is okay. I mean, I love what I love. Like everybody has their poison, darling. There's nothing wrong with that. When I do TikTok, what I feel like you go look at me. I'm too cool. You want to see my mcharaza? We do mcharaza. You get to know people. You understand people. Someone like Jacqueline Nombeo, she cannot contain a drink. Jacqueline, you know, to me as a cook, when you come back, she comes say. When I do Jacqueline, they make wonder how she didn't go out. She didn't have fun. She didn't do all the kind of a thing. So I'm as a friend to come and use any. Muli me choka. System me choka. Akinusa tu ni nivi. Kwanza jaki na gese eu tu mezle wenza kupika food. Akinusa tu nivi. Ndi uyo. Guys, I'm drunk. Guys. My friend, jaki na mbewa kaku ngota mito wiligi kongo. Ni kichi duwa nyiligi kongo. That is not like even me guys. Me I drink. Like literally my life revolves around drinking. But uta inu kujam. Guys. <laughs> yes, but like fucking shit. You don't even have to realize you better drink, darling. You drink for your own fun. You know, people. Some people drink kujia kutu nikama content. Like being drunk is a big thing. It's like uh, you know, eh? Oh, what? Just look at my dog. Team Re, Team Re, my leech, my kid, Nene, Ombewa, eh? And I'm shut the light. I'm not shutting the light, <laughs> people. Ina kujua tu nde uwa meza kerero juu sana uwe ajazoea pombe. Una na uwe ajazoea. It's true. Ama na mwekelea guys. You don't, utaki kuna jakili na lewe kama melewa. Utaki kuna jakili kama melewa. Sata, sibiyo kujua kapi. Jakili, I don't know si kama umezeta chupa. Akiaka jakili takoka chupa. But pombe imeshinda jakili na mbewa yao. Jakili na fakuanza kukunywa nini. Mwene tuwaji. Easy, natural easy. Easy, you don't have to go club. Easy, a packet. What you need, a cube. But easy, you don't have to go thicker. Easy, you don't have to go thicker. Zina easy, you use the thicker. Zina ito aje. You know this you use the kind of kebab. Wale ma bona, ma bi bona, ma bona. Zau kwa nini? See, sparkling pass, sparkling one away. Hey, Del Monte. You should not only want to kind of want ma bona. Zau wala ku watch one. Hey, I'm going to Del Monte. I'm going to go in. I'm going to go up. Be good Wi-Fi material, eh? Ana kunyu wa dina mwote waka subu na iyo baridi na nini ya tempele kwa autu na hazi. Jacqueline need to go on Del Monte. Aki. Jute ina ye apana. Ama kunyu ya outside camera. Akunyu outside camera. Because hii te hii ya hapa TikTok. Aki kunyu wa. And to be honest with you, for a moment it was really not good for our reputation, you know? When you call yourself a scholar, you call yourself a queen. You come with a bit of finesse. Unajua? People expect you to behave in a certain way. Let's call a spade a spade. And I'm so glad for Jacqueline. She's really redeemed herself. Because the way she was going, it was not good for her. You cannot be a queen and you can barely contain your drink, man. And it does not work like that, guys. I quit the evil. And Jacqueline, I've... I've got to congratulate you. First and foremost, you color will you You look so good now. The other color was making you look older. Ile color look make and people that if you really have people that say they love you, you go koheri because ile color ya look make ya nini? Was it orange? Ama ilikuwa na kama oranga tone. That oranga tone color it didn't suit you. First and foremost, ilifanya kukazeka. It made you look so old, you know, because the color did not suit you generally. Secondly, it made you look like a woman from Sori. Ule na uzafishu ko like a broka wasamaki. Now this that we have this color, Jacqueline, 
You look so classy and younger. You look so good. Congratulations, darling. Keep doing that. Now you look like the queen. You say you are. Manze. Ile time ingine kama una mabeste. If anybody was telling you that you look good on that, those people don't like you. They're not your friends. You look like a total mess. And then, pia vile uli, uli, uli tuliza squeezy uninyako. Unajua before, Jacqueline, you're coming out like a very ferocious. Wewe na kina jebi peshi, wakona difference. But right now, I'm glad. I'm so proud of you. You have sort of, you know, polished yourself. And when you talk, now I like watching you because you're talking from a point of, you know, I want to let you and then like before I said, and when I came on this platform, I said it, I'm still saying it, Jacqueline. This shows you that I've never had any bad intentions towards you. I was just seeing, saying what I could see. You know, people say what they can see. Initially, we were going to with some deep seated, you know, like something was burning inside you. But nowadays, when you talk, you know, like, you know, Ume, ume come down. I think is ingiri is it million itano only part I'm saying you can't deny you can't deny. You can't have seen that you can't chill it. Shaman, this will be quite chill. No cause our. But you need to remember that by the end of the day, Japan people give you their money. Your name is on the line. I know you said you want to give uh, accountability, but as the opposition leader, I'm gonna tell you how it is, how it's gonna work. Don't think you're safe, even though you don't talk about it. We don't talk about it, but you're not safe because this will be part of you. This history will be part of you. Because ever since you went to Kenya, me as a T, I've been expecting Mazato when the base one better near the guys or in the site to Munaona Pile Kumenia Manyasi Kwamtaro, Mtaro Zignes Mejiziba, but you're still gonna go on. You no longer talk about this thing, Jacqueline. You given time that is indefinite. You keep saying, Oh, I'll do it at my own time. Thank you so much, Malkia. The people that gave you that money, you might have fallen out uh, with them, but they did it out of that trust and love they had for you. Hi, Ushindi, how are you? So the only thing you owe them, it does not matter. As how can I be in a page? In as much as you guys don't get along, but remember, they really, really uh, drummed for you. Thank you, Myra. So I'm going to ask you from a scholarly point, you know when you go to school, school makes you a bit better, so you see things in a bigger way, okay? So, if it was out there, as a kifua, you know, because you know it doesn't make you different from the same people that are bringing all these things. When you start saying, "Oh, I'm not gonna do it," you end up in a JB. I'm done. I'm talking about difference. So, for you to have at least a bit of uh, difference, one day when people talk, when history judges you, someone will come up and say, "No, at least yeah, yeah. aliendaga." Huh? site because you've been to Kenya, Jacqueline. You've never been to that site. Let's call a spade a spade. Aujai I don't know if you've been, maybe probably school and watch your time, but I've never seen you go back there. And what you need to know, what about those signing petitions? No, nobody, I mean, let people, I've always said that people who love Nyako, the support Nyako, should not sign the petition. Anybody else can do what they want to do because it's not for the goodness of Nyako. I'll go to the chat talker. So, uh, Jacqueline, uh, I thought I should talk to you on one on one. You need to know because when you talk about, we said we can ask for accountability, but in a in a way that uh, is not hateful. You know, it's a conversation we are having because we are TikTokers. Our person did not contribute for you, but definitely people contributed for you on this platform. And as the self-assigned opposition leader, I'm gonna talk about it. You know, this is my opinion. No obligations whatsoever. But listen, there are people that are truly came out for you, or because they believe in the cause you're doing. They loved whatever thing you're doing. Some of them who never supported you and never your supporters. Some of you never liked you as a person, but they liked what you're doing. So the same people right now, some of you do, don't like you, but they still definitely have interest in the course that you're doing. And that is the reason why they contributed for you. So when you come out and say my schools, yes, they're your schools, but remember there were some obligations, Jacqueline. And I don't know if you're ever wanting, if you'll ever come back here and need public support because you have two options. You can either make yourself accountable to the people that came out to you and give them a statement, give them a reason, tell them something, talk about this thing, okay? Or if you decide not to talk about it because probably you've used the money or probably you think, oh no, this is not the shit, they, they gave me the money, whatever time I'm gonna do it is me. That is absolutely fine. But just remember that, you know, there's no any other day that you're gonna come to the public and ask for any support. That is something you need to know because there are people that people that don't even make the most noise are usually the biggest supporters. Remember, 
a lot of people out here asking for noise you should just shut their noise because they most of them don't even matter Jacqueline they never supported you they probably will never will they're saying it because it's it's, it's a tirade people are talking about it so they join the bargain you know, there are people they're called in the what they call the people that let's go to and deny thank you Dennis but the true people that really really are old are the people that reached out to you and gave you such huge amounts of money don't take it for granted they didn't give you the money because they did have things to do with their money they gave you the money because they definitely supported the things uh, that you said you're going to use that money on so don't feel entitled don't say oh they gave me the money for my schools yes you have a promise to make and that is coming to talk to them Jacqueline sometimes I come to realize that I expect even to touch on those on that thing if you have the time to go to Maseno to follow up on Soriza Daughters, you do pick a boo. You should have also have time to go back to your site where your interest is, your passion, something you are so passionate about to the point of coming to public to ask for money. Please, you owe, you owe people that, remember. And silent is constant. So the time you're silent, not saying anything, it means that you're, you're farming, which of course, you know, Tabasamu, me, I don't go to YouTube because she brought everything on TikTok. So if she wants, she can talk about it on TikTok. There are people here on TikTok who don't even go to YouTube. And honestly speaking, me, I don't even, on a serious note, I can only wish her well in what she's doing. But I have zero interest because I never contributed. But I'm just speaking as an interested TikToker, as the opposition leader. That is why I'm mentioning this. Not everybody goes on, on, thing, on, on, on YouTube. Then she money that she raised, she raised the money on TikTok. So it's only still wise if she also brings that thing once in a while on TikTok. So that people are pitied because not a lot of people go on 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 on, tip, on uh, YouTube and the owner stops with her. She's the one who came out uh, here asking people money. So she's the one who should do whatever thing she needs to do. She didn't she doesn't have to be uh, directing people go to this and this. But people who want to go there would me, I'll wait when the subject and discussion is here. It will really stress me from here because this is where I picked it from. But if you said that uh, uh, the, the thing is going on, that is very good for her because she needs that. She needs that goodwill behind her. Because she'll see, if the schools are going on, she'll see need to come back here and talk to people. Because she says everything on TikTok. I've never had her mention the schools. I've never had to say anything about the schools, how they're going, how they're, you know. I've never had anything. So we guys, I mean, we need to be honest with it. We, have, we need to be able to balance the equation, you know. You know, we need to be able to call things for what they are and what is happening because even her, as someone who's collected from public, uh, all people, uh, that sort of, just uh, talk about it, explanation. Because for the longest time, that was what, one of her biggest uh, content. Each time she come and talk about it, mention it, she doesn't mention it anymore. So some people are, you know, concerned silently. So Tabasamu or Jacqueline, if you're here, you need to just come, you know, people that have real mean wealth for you, they need to hear something about it. Because there are a lot of pieces, people are talking behind the tents, they don't talk here. Right? So is there anything else, guys? Is there anything else?